and welcome to this edition of Roland Sports. This is where you meet the athletes. I'm Tyler Roland, and today we're doing a focus on Lewis County. And this school, of course, it's had a lot of achievements across the board in sports, and it's always good to always good to get to make a trip out here, although I don't get too often, but when I do, it's a, always a, a great trip. And with me is one of the one of the all-time greats to come through here. I think she probably needs no introduction, but be it volleyball, basketball, and softball, I'm with Sarah Page Weddington. It's good to see you here. And first off, let's let's start off talking and just about your let's reflect a little bit on, on Lewis County and what is it that you really like about this place and makes it that that makes it the special community that it is. I definitely think it all stems from the pride of our fans. You know, we don't really have much to do around here, it's no secret. So whenever there's a ball game going on on Friday nights or Saturdays or in the middle of the week, everyone just comes out and supports. So I think that's a lot of where our program stems from, is from younger kids watching us play. So that's a big part of it. And I also think our school system is very supportive of all the athletes and everything that we do. They're encouraged us to be student athletes, not just athletes. So I think that's a big part of it as well. And Sarah Page, uh, one of the athletes that came through here um, just a few years ago that, of course, was heavily looked up to, Savannah Anderson. I know that was one that Leslie mentioned to me that you looked up to over the years. And how did it feel to get to follow in her footsteps and, and to leave a, a legacy behind? It was awesome. I, like my mom said, I always looked up to Savannah. She was a really good friend with my brother. And she would come over and play cards with us. So she was kind of more than a basketball role model to me, a role model in general. I think she's just a great person. She's super fun to be around. So watching her do something at such a young age was really inspiring, I think. And I never thought that I'd be able to do it, <laughs> but it's really cool that I got to do that with her. So. Yeah, and um, and with 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 Lewis County, with what you do here, you know, you you played volleyball, you played basketball and softball, and you were able to do all three at an elite level. And talk about just the the training regimen that you had to in those sports and really the challenge of being a, a three-sport athlete. Uh, it was definitely year-round. You know, I didn't have very many off-seasons like most athletes do. It was definitely riding into the, into the next, especially with me playing travel ball and basketball. So once softball season wanted to get done, I would go to Alabama or Indiana for a basketball tournament the next weekend. Um, but I give a lot of credit to my coaches because it is very challenging, but they're very understanding that, you know, I can't be to every conditioning or I can't be to everything that I necessarily want to be because I have other things that I have to do with my sport ahead of it. And it's all related in the same way. Volleyball helps me, I think, with my timing, which in turn helped with basketball and rebounding. And I think basketball helped a lot with my speed with softball and the base pass. So in the end, it's all related to each other and it helped me long term. So I'm really glad that I did it. Let's talk a little bit about your, your future coming up. Um, I know, of course, you also had a strong academic background, and let's talk about your your college plans and um, and what you what what your major is. Of course, I know that can change, but um, it doesn't a lot of people. But what um, right now? What do you plan on on doing? I'll be going to UK in fall, and I'm going in as a chemistry major, but I plan on switching to human health sciences for the spring semester. And I'm going to study pre-dental studies to become a dentist, hopefully, in a few years. And I'm super excited. And, you know, I love the city of Lexington. I grew up a UK fan, like everyone around here. So I think UK was a really easy choice for me, and I'm really glad that that's where I'm going. Let's talk a little bit about um, just some, some of your memorable moments. Of course, in volleyball, you had over 400 kills this year and won, I believe, the 16th region player of the year. And uh, let's talk about about that sport a little bit, uh, because you want, you only started playing just your your sophomore year, if I'm correct. So a lot of it was kind of a last minute decision, I guess, for me. It was during COVID, and you know, I was stuck at the house all day long, like everyone else. And it was really the first sport that got picked up after everything was canceled. Um, basketball wasn't really doing much, maybe one day a week, but volleyball was in here, you know, three or four days a week, and I was kind of bored. So my cousin was on the team, and she was the setter, and, you know, she'd always try to convince me because I was always the tallest girl in school to come out and play for just an open gym, and I ended up missing all the open gyms, and they had started practice, and she was like, well, I talked to the coach, and she said, you could come. 
And I was like, well, I don't really want to. She said, well, you have to because I already told her. So I was like, okay. So I went to the practice, and I really enjoyed it. And, you know, it's something that I didn't pick up as quickly as I thought I would. Just the rules behind it is a lot more tedious than what I was expecting. And I still don't know them all, honestly. But I think, like I said, like basketball and softball, I think, helped prepare me mentally for that aspect of the game. And then the basketball. Um, I mean, you all had, a, of course, a heck of a team coming in. I mean, you got to got to the regional tournament. And um, and that's where I first saw you. I remember being on with my town and the first time I, I saw that team. That was a lot of fun to watch you, D'Souza, Link, Cliff Campbell, and some of them, and um, talk about maybe that score and some of the great memories you had there. That's the one that was always my it score growing up. It was, you know, the one that I loved. I, my dream was to play on this court for as long as I can remember. And I think that I'm so I'm so grateful to have been able to do that. I know that there are a lot of kids who come through the program and they, you know, they quit after a little bit because it's not right for them. But, yeah, that, that's okay, but I'm really glad that I got the opportunity. And I think this season was just the perfect way that, for me in my career, you know, we didn't make it to the region finals, we didn't win the region, we didn't win the district, but I think we did something that not many people thought that we could do, and that was, you know, beat the school record. And we had lost some really key players, you know, Cheyenne was a 15-point scorer every night, a 10-point rebounder, and then our best big coach did on one. So we had just lost them, I think everyone was kind of just looking past us, you know, maybe even myself a little bit, so I don't know, but... I think that I was really proud of how we came out and we ended the season not in the way that we had wanted to, but I think we got a lot of respect and I'm really, I'm really proud of us. Yeah, and then, um, of course, softball. Gosh, you all had a, I mean, like in basketball, there's a lot of success to share and, um, you guys, of course, a regional final finish this year. Last year got to stay two years ago, final four. Um, what was it like for, I'm going to harp on this final four. What was it like for Lewis County like, to get to, to get that to earn that experience uh, at that level? Uh, it was definitely crazy. I think you know we all knew that we could do it, but it just seemed like such a long shot for you know little Lewis County to get there. But I give a lot of credit to obviously Emily. Um, mm-hmm. You know she's our pitcher. She gets a lot of the. She gets a lot of the credit for our wings, as she deserves, but she also gets a lot of the losses, and I think that's something that people don't realize about a pitcher. So I give her loads of credit just for the countless work that she put in. And then I think, you know, our coaches, we had a new coach that year in Coach Hampton, which he was a new coach around here. He played basketball for many, many years, but, you know, he didn't know the sport very well, and it was kind of a learning process for him as we went through the season. And I think him being that mental aspect for us for the game, it gave us a lot of confidence. And I'm not sure that we could have done it without our coaches. I mean, I like to think that, you know, we could have. But they did so much more than I think most, what most people realize. Um, but it was just indescribable. You know, our community came out more than I ever imagined. I know we have a big crowd because, you know, everyone loves to watch softball and sports around here. But just to see that many people make the two-hour drive on weekdays, canceling work. It was amazing. And yeah, I know we didn't make a championship game, but I'd go back and do it all over again. Yeah, special, special moments for sure. And, and Sarah Page, one thing I know in addition to athletics and academics, um, you're also into business. And talk about um, what led you to, to start your business and, and what you do with it. And, um, and, and really, um, of course, we'll have something across the screen with the coming up the information. But let's talk about this. So I've been, I have a cupcake business and a baking business, and I've been kind of doing it for sort of a long time. I grew up baking with my grandma, and you know, she's taught me basically everything she does about cupcakes and cakes. And, um, yeah, I just kind of started baking for a little extra cash here and there during high school. But I was super busy. I couldn't really get a consistent amount of orders because, you know, it's really hard to work around games. So I was probably just, you know, a couple orders in that company major. But I knew that once I graduated and once softball was over that I was going to have a lot of time on my hands. And I didn't really want to get a job because I had, you know, things that I wanted to do this summer. And it was my last summer before going off to college, so I knew that baking would be a really good way for me to you know, make some extra money, and I really enjoyed it. I wanted to make sure that I, if I was going to do something, I wanted to do something that I enjoyed. And I 
I'm really glad that I'm doing it. I've been doing good so far, so hopefully that keeps up. That's awesome. Yeah. yeah and and, um, and what would be a neat fact about yourself, maybe, that maybe that not a lot of people know? Okay. Uh, I know you talked about this earlier, but I have lots of athletes in my family. Uh, Sam O'Keefe, Tyler Clark, you know, really big names around here. That's like, I know you said you didn't know that earlier, so uh, you know, mm-hmm. I definitely grew up around sports. My uncle actually played in the NFL. He played at Eastern. So, yeah, very, very athletic family, but also very competitive. Yeah, yeah and, and, and you actually go to, I mean, Sam O'Keefe, he was just a couple, I mean, 2020, a couple years back, and talk about um, – I mean, because you you were here getting to see him, and of course the legacy. They got to the regional finals that year. Um, talk talk about um, him, and of course Tyler Clark. A lot of great memories there as well. So yeah, me and Sam we're, we still are we're really close. He's probably you know he lives just a couple months down the road from me. He took me to school my freshman year. He was a senior when I was a freshman, and you know we would work out together. We go to the gym together. So basketball was kind of like our bonding moment because. Whenever he had all this success his senior year, you know, he went to the region finals, player of the year, like he had all this success, you know, I was still a freshman, that, and I strike for that, I want to do that, but I didn't know how to do it, and he did. So I think he was kind of like, you know, he was definitely my role model, and I kind of looked up to him and like how that process went, and he obviously went to youth park to play baseball, so he couldn't come home as much as what I think we would have liked and what I would have liked, but... During summertime, he would come home and we would work out together. And that was definitely the main thing that he helped me with was as far as um, physique and ability, but also work ethic. I've never seen someone work as hard as staying and I just really work out like that. And, you know, Tyler, he's a great player, but I actually wasn't born whenever he played. Yeah. <laughs> um, he graduated in 2004, and I was born in August of 2004. But I definitely uh, – Looked up to him in that aspect because, you know, I've heard all the stories. I've seen all the pictures. My brother was born, and he definitely looked up to Tyler. So I think that there's definitely pictures that I've seen. I know he was a great player. He was a great player, too. So I know all the stories. Are there any shout-outs you'd like to give? Um, I'll give a shout-out to my parents and all my family. I love them all. Thank you for your time. and. Be sure to check out. Uh, we'll put that up on the screen again. Be sure to catch, check out. What was the name of your? It's your called SP's Cakes. I have a Facebook page. Okay, awesome. SP's Cakes. Well, be sure to check that out. We thank you all for tuning in and watching this episode of Rolling Sports, where you meet the athletes.